This topic is called graphing a linear, linear inequality on the number line. Um, I think this is one of the most fun things to do. Um, and one thing, if the letter, so if the variable you're looking at is on the left, so if it comes first, like in this example, A is first, A is less than negative five. The way, the direction that that goes, see how that goes this way? That's the arrow you're going to choose. So you're going to be going to the left of negative five. Okay, so um, if it's on the other side, if A is on the other side, so if it was looking at um, negative five is greater than A, then you're gonna flip that over and it's be, gonna be going this way. So you still go that way either way, but as long as the variable's on the left, you can kind of follow that for an example. Okay, PS, please subscribe to my channel and like any uh, videos that are helpful to you. So if we have a less than or a greater than symbol in our problem, we're gonna use an open circle. If we have less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, that means we're including the number and we're gonna want a closed circle. So to begin with, we want to look at our symbol. In our example, it's a negative or less than. So we go to the number negative five. We're going to put an open circle on negative five. Then we want to draw our arrow to the left, and we want to go all the way so that it goes. Did I do that right? Okay, let's try it. Nope, I don't see it. Okay, so somehow... Oh, there it is. See how the arrow highlighted right there? Now it should work. There we go. Okay. All right, let's try again. Okay, the greater than symbol means open circle. You put it right on the number they give you. So negative seven. Notice that the arrow is going toward the right. So we want this part. So we want it to go this way. So I don't know if that makes sense to you, but this is going this way. So we want to go that way. So the arrow goes that way. See, I'm writing all over here. Again. Okay, let's try some more. Okay, it's the greater than or equal to, so we want the closed dot at negative six. And then because the X is on the left side, like it starts, we can just put our arrow on the going in this direction so that it, it kind of matches that arrowhead in the problem. Okay, that's the end of the lesson.